If you can hear a knocking noise every time you go over a bump emanating from the rear of the car in a Skoda Fabia, it can often be the rear tailgate is loose and needs adjusting. In this video I show you various methods in how you can do that. So I'll see you after this short break. When I push down on the top of the tailgate hard, you can hear a knocking noise. which is likely to be the noise that I can hear inside the car when I go over a bump, which would indicate it needs adjusting. If we open up the tailgate, there are four adjusting points. One here, one here, and two on the tailgate itself, up here, and one on here. And if we look at the ones on the body first, you'll find that there's a central wedge-shaped section that is separate to the bracket's body uh, that can be adjusted forwards and backwards uh, along a channel. The surface of the wedge uh, marries up to another bracket on the tailgate here which is slightly worn and if replaced may help to reduce the play in the tailgate which lowers down onto the wedge shaped bracket to align the tailgate centrally with the lock which doesn't seem to be adjustable. Two further rubber bump stops on the bottom of the tailgate can be screwed out to the desired length. If we take it out you can see just how it works and when you thread it back in it's just like a big threaded rubber screw and as we close the tailgate you can see it just closes down onto the bodywork here uh, I adjusted these first and even with them screwed completely out there's still a bit of knocking noise so the next stage is to adjust the brackets so we need to loosen the central torque bolt using uh, a Torx T30 socket. Now we can adjust the bracket forwards a bit and check if it's eliminated our knocking noise. Again it's a little better but not quite there. Pull fully out and I was, there was still a little bit of a knocking noise so I decided to raise the bracket by cutting out some plastic from the back of uh, an old oil container and cut round to match the base of the bracket and drill some holes for the bolts. Once I fitted the shim I found it eliminated the knocking noise completely. So I decided to put uh, two shims on each side so it would allow me to have some future adjustment which worked perfectly. So there we are guys, uh, fixed. Jobs are good. If you like this video give us a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. It really helps me out with the channel. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.